Hey friend, Brandon here. You know, Android is the most successful smartphone operating system ever, period. Despite Apple having tremendous success with a particular line of phones, there are significantly more Android phones out there than iOS devices. Right now, Android has a market share of over 86% and it's still growing. It's kind of astounding when you realize it and it looks like Google may be trying to replace it. We'll see. So what is it? And most importantly, what could another operating system from Google bring that would even make sense to replace Android? And why are they even trying to make another. Let's talk about it because this is Tech Today. This video is sponsored in part by Squarespace and their all-in-one platform to make beautiful and powerful websites. Go to squarespace.com slash this is tech today to get 10% off your first website or domain. Please share, subscribe, hit that bell icon to be notified of when I post a new video. I'd really appreciate it. Recently, an interesting, if not extremely confusing leak came out from Google in the form of an FCC trademark for a new computer operating system. What makes this particularly unusual is its name and why they would even trademark it. As if Android and Fuchsia wasn't unique enough, this one is called uh, pigweed. Yes, pigweed. So depending on which state you live in, you might have different images coming to mind, but it's actually a, a leafy plant that looks like this. Now you may have thought a moment ago, wait a minute, we're talking about pigweed, but you also mentioned fuchsia. What in the world is fuchsia? And that is actually a great question because it is indeed related to this pigweed leak. <laughs> Fuchsia is a new open source operating system that Google has been developing for some time. You can actually load it onto some devices like the Pixelbook and see some of the basic interface designs and whatnot. Much of the development and the use cases have mostly been related to other types of devices other than smartphones, like smart home devices and other internet of things devices. Hiroshi Lockheimer, the senior vice president of Android, Chrome, Chrome OS, and the Play Store talked about Fuchsia at last year's Google I.O. 2019. And he stated that Fuchsia was not being made to replace Android and Chrome OS, but is intended to be, and I quote, sort of a place where we can try out new ideas. He went on to state, in the world of Internet of Things, there are increasing numbers of devices that require operating systems and new runtimes and so on. I think there is a lot of room for multiple operating systems with different strengths and specializations. Fuchsia is one of those things, and so stay tuned. This all makes sense and would explain why Fuchsia code has often come up in smart home devices like the Nest Home. Now, it may be true that the main emphasis is on other devices beyond phones, and that allows it to have robust features and support for the use case in Internet of Things devices, wearables, and accessories. But that also doesn't mean that this place to try new things cannot eventually become something even bigger over time. Obviously, a lot has been learned from creating and developing Android, and a Fuchsia UI interface was made to operate on a smartphone and laptop form factor. So they're clearly planning to have the option to expand should it make sense. But some sources have claimed that it's truly just an experiment with some notable goals to aspire to, specifically to start being used in devices this year or next. Most interestingly, has been seen as a senior engineer retention project that around 100 engineers were working on, at least in 2018. If it actually becomes something notable internally and in test devices, it could expand and potentially replace Android, but it doesn't seem like it's the ultimate result expected out of it. You can find out more about Fuchsia on their developer website at fuchsia.dev and keep up to date on all the great work and research by Kyle Bradshaw at 9to5Google. He has a great series over there called Fuchsia Fridays. So what does all that have to do with pigweed? Well, the only other place that has shown up other than in this trademark filing is in Fuchsia back in November. Interestingly enough, this code was changed from Pigweed back to Fuchsia. It's like they got the names mixed up or something. It should be noted that this doesn't provide compelling evidence that Fuchsia and Pigweed are the same or even directly related, but that the specific developer is aware of both of them and may be working on both of them as well. The other spot where Pigweed shows up is in the Chromium code repository, specifically in the monorail bug tracker that the developers use while developing the OS. Beyond that, there's not much for us to really know what pigweed is, what it's about, its purpose, and why it even has a name like that. But that leads us to a more important question. What would the ideal Google operating system be? What would replace Android and maybe even laptops and tablets? How could a new operating system improve what we already have today? In many ways, mobile operating systems are extremely mature. They've gone through iteration after iteration to refine things and add new features, but we can't be naive enough to think that there isn't room for improvement. So what could be improved in a new operating system? Well, they would definitely work on fragmentation. While Google has worked so hard to fight against people having outdated versions of Android or not having the newest features that they want us to use by making a lot of the new things updatable through the Google Play Store, there's still the reality that phone manufacturers are not the best at keeping their devices up to date. Could Google design a new operating system in a way that gives them complete control over these updates? Could it also give them an opportunity to leverage their dominance on the carriers and have the type of control that you see with Apple and iOS? The other potential benefit of a new operating system 
system is a better system in support for tablet devices. It's no secret that Android tablets are not doing well, and the iPad is clearly the dominant tablet. To be honest, when I think of tablets, I only think of iPads, and don't even consider Android-based tablets. It's just not on the same level of quality in terms of apps and developer support. While Android has made significant progress in this area, it's still true that iOS runs more efficiently than Android. If Google can develop an OS that allows it to be less of a battery hog and not have to have a ton of specs thrown at it to run really well, it would help them out tremendously. Part of that may be support for their own operating system on a chip or processor. We know Google has been working on developing their own silicone for a while, the Pixel Visual Core being a part of that. Whether or not they're even remotely in a place to reliably make their own system on a chip like Apple is not publicly known. So disclaimer, this is just speculation. And probably one of the biggest issues with Android is how much litigation has resulted because of its origins. Google pays Microsoft a $5 to $15 licensing fee per device sold, if that is still in place. That means Microsoft makes at least $2 billion a year just off of Android. That's not a bad gig for Microsoft, huh? On top of that is a litigation with Oracle that started in 2010 and seems to be going on forever as things bounce back and forth, being overturned, reversed, and now escalated to the US Supreme Court. The argument is over copyright issues regarding the code found in Android OS and its use of Java's API. Creating a new OS from scratch without all of these issues, residual code workarounds, and whatnot would surely provide a significant amount of relief for Google and give them a greater range of freedom to do what they want to do. So now the question is, could we see this on the Google Google Pixel 5? Since we've only heard of pigweed for the first time right about now, and we don't really know for sure what its purpose is entirely, it's hard to know if we'll see even a fragment of it in the Google Pixel 5. If Fuchsia is used primarily for the inner of things devices and accessories more than phones and tablets, maybe pigweed fills in the gaps for that? One thing is for sure, if Google is smart, they'll make sure that all of these operating systems play nice with each other. You know what else is really nice? Having a great looking, easy to make, maintain, and use website by this video sponsor, Squarespace. Right now, I'm working on launching a podcast with a friend, and we're going to build our website with Squarespace. Squarespace makes it super easy to do that with their fantastic looking websites that are crazy easy to customize. And they have 24-7 customer support that can help you with any sort of questions you have, and they also have all these great tools to help make sure your website is effective. They have powerful analytics tools, email lists, SEO tools, and an e-commerce platform to boot. They even have the ability to create secret custom pages that are password protected so you can create exclusive content for businesses you work for, fans, contests, ARGs, and more. I uh, have some ideas for this. Go to squarespace.com slash this is tech today to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And thanks to Squarespace for supporting this channel so I can continue to make content for you for free. So what do you think Google is doing with Pigweed and even Fuchsia? What could they do that would make it better than Android? What do you want out of an operating system that you're longing despite how mature Android is? Leave a comment below and join the This Is Tech Today community Discord chat server. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching This Is Tech Today where we talk about the intersection of technology in our everyday lives and business and in all things creative. Until next time.